the, the headliner yes. at the end. There you go. Well, um, not a bad debut for 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 your for your first promotions, yeah. Premier Boxing promotions. Uh, how does that feel um, staging this? Well, it was a lot of hard work before before the event to get everything in place, all the risk assessment, matching all the boxers, and boxing is not. There's so many unknown things that happen. But we're happy how the night went. We had 13 bouts. It was a good night and everyone performed on an excellent level. And I'm really pleased it was a capacity crowd, standing room only. So for our first event, we're very pleased how it turned out. Oh, that's, that, that's beautiful. And that, it, was a, it was a pleasure being there from ringside, enjoying how everything planned. I mean, first of all, I was thinking, especially for starting up a, a big event like this, I, I was half expecting hiccups or any little things, but it all went smoothly today. There was no, you know, not much problems all through the night. That's right. And um, it was it was a really good performance. And even the last the the, the last um, Ricky what was it Ricky Ricky Ricky, Ricky Coker, Ricky Coker yes. and his last performance with a it was it came came with a against an away fire who really came to win and that's right. It was, a, it was a beautiful performance. Yes. What's, what, what would you like with Ricky? Because he was telling me he might be the last uh, performance. Well, I mean, he, yeah. I've heard that through the grapevine. He hasn't yeah. actually told me personally himself. But yeah. uh, based on his performance tonight and where he's going, where he's six and old, he could now start thinking about a domestic tie to a southern area or something like this, and maybe inspire him, motivate him to come back. Maybe come down away. I'm not sure if he wants to carry on work, uh, boxing at, at uh, light because he was super middleweight. So whether he wants to continue light heavyweight, but uh, this is a this is a, te a teaser for him to make him think, a motivate, a motivation bout to say, maybe I want to continue. So we're going to sit down and talk what he wants to do. And obviously, if he wants to retire, I'll support that. If he wants to carry on boxing, then I will support, put the mechanism in place to help him achieve the highest level he can achieve in this sport. There's a few um, debutants here. Hamza, yes. one of them. Hamza, oh, what did you, well, who was the other debutants? Hamza, there? Awan, yeah. Andre, Andre Satiris, uh, uh, Aaron Gribben, uh, Ty Tyrone Williams, and uh, Yumas. Oh, okay. Yumas. They were all debutants. Well, no, except Ricky Coker. The others were all debutants. They all found it was a very. The matching was challenging. They were. There were live fights. There wasn't anyone come to, you know, just to take a payday. They all came to try and win. So it, was t it took, it stretched them. Obviously, we had unfortunately lost with Tyrone Williams. It was unfortunate. We, it's a learning curve. He needs to go back and discuss how to be more defensive. He's powerful attacking, but how do you defend? Uh, Andre Sotiris again, to work a bit of technique with him. But it's, well, this is all a learning curve. But I, I think the highlight was perhaps Ricky Coker. Aaron did excellently, and also uh, UMass technically, and Hamza as well, technically excellent. Yes. Uh, I spoke to your son, I actually asked him, because obviously we all know he used to box Chris, um, and he, I know the older one, um, he's thinking Andres. of, Andres is thinking about coming back, yes. he's got a um, thing, but I actually asked Chris, and Chris was like, you never know, he might come back. Yes. In, next year, what do, you, what, do you, what do you feel of your two of your boys coming back? Do you see both of them coming back? Well, there's a possibility. Andres has just gone applied for his license and we have an interview. So if he gets, if it's granted, then perhaps maybe the next show, he'll be the head in the bill. Uh, so we're looking, because he's 11 and 0, as you, many of the boxing people know. Uh, and Christopher as well, he, he's taken a career path in acting, in the media and so forth. So I don't know whether this will entice him to come back. But whatever the outcome is, if they, whatever they want to do again, I will support that and look after them to get the best out of the sport at this time at stage of their lives. Okay. So what were you? So you're now a promoter and a manager now. Yes. Okay. And um, have you got any new signings coming up? Any? I've got a, quite a few. There's a, there's a lot of applicants who want to sign up, but I I'm carefully how how I accept the applications. I've got two Greek boys from Greece who we're signing, we're signing up, we're just going through the process. A boy called Dimitris and a boy called uh, Rafael. Dimitri was international for, for Greece, top draw boxer. So we're looking at how we can include them in the mix of the stable that we're, that we're de developing and building. And lastly, when is this uh, next event? When are we 
Well, now that this one's over and we've seen that, really, I feel it's even it's a debut and um, promotion. We feel it's a great success. I've had a lot of wonderful people behind us. We've had the Ability Group, the Hilton. We've had different people supporting us. My sons, uh, Flash, uh, uh, Alchemist, Edmonton Eagles behind us all the way. So these are all the people that have yes. been su supporting the work that we're doing. And we're just going to go from strength to strength, really, and learn from this experience, you know, finally tune things and come back even better and stronger. Okay. This is Okiti. Thanks for having me. Pleasure. And hope to be on the next one. Lovely. Well, well you you there's an open invitation any event. Okay. Thank you very God much, bless. sir. God bless Take you, care. You, Amen. <laughs>